Check out this unique viewer photo. Yes, fishing was good at Prospect Lake today. That's a blue heron pulled out a nice looking trout right there. Thanks to Chris for snapping and sending that into us. Outside tonight, we're just plain old cold. Downtown, it's 30 degrees and there is no wind. Thankfully, cold enough without it. That's live from Big Hill. It is the Big chill on Big Hill tonight, 29 your current temperature. You can see the Comanche power plant off in the distance blowing off a lot of steam. Big weather story. Here's what's going to happen around here tomorrow. That persistent upslope flow I think will squeeze out a little bit of freezing fog and maybe even freezing drizzle in some areas. As I said at the top of the show, very small window for that between 4 and about 9 o'clock early tomorrow morning. That could create some slick spots on some of the bridges and overpasses. So a winter weather advisory through 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. I'd rather have a foot of snow than a layer of that black ice because it's almost impossible to detect on area roadways. Worst of it on bridges, overpasses and elevated surfaces. Be real careful for that commute tomorrow morning. Going to be stuck in the soup all day. That upslope flow is going to keep us cloudy. If you want to catch some vitamin D tomorrow, head up into Teller County. They'll have mostly sunny skies throughout the day, but with that persistent easterly upslope flow, look for clouds around here the entire day. Some of the warmest air will be down south across some of the southern foothills. Now on Thursday, we lose the cold air because we're going to pick up a strong downslope flow that'll scour out this cold air, but the price to pay is some strong gusty wind. I think in the springs in Pueblo, our winds will top out around 40 miles per hour, stronger up across portions of Teller County. Also some stronger winds down across some of the southern foothills. That wind will wrap up late Thursday afternoon. And on Saturday, a cold front comes in late. Ahead of it, it's going to be warm and windy. Then as a disturbance catches up, we could actually see a little bit of light rain shower activity across portions of the I-25 core or late Saturday afternoon into Saturday night with some snow up across the higher elevations today. And it was cold, 33 in Pueblo. I'll do the math for you. That's 25 degrees colder than an average high this time of the year. Spring's only 31 today. Overnight lows tonight dropping back to 26 degrees with the cloudy skies and the freezing fog and freezing drizzle in some areas. Temps tomorrow going nowhere quick. 35 the high in the springs. Warmer right there in Teller County. So if you want to warm up, just roll up Ute Pass up into Woodland Park, Cripple Creek, pretty mild as well, and some of the warmest air down across the southern foothills because they'll have a warm downslope Chinook flow blowing. In the springs on Thursday, it is going to get windy. That's why I wanted to break that day out on your uh, super seven day forecast. Those winds topping out at around 40 miles per hour during the morning hours. And then as that disturbance starts to move east, we'll see those winds and the pressure gradient start to relax during the late afternoon hours. You talk about March madness, though temperatures just all over the place from the 30s tomorrow into the 60s on Saturday ahead of that cold front. A few p.m. rain showers possible. It'll be windy on Saturday. Then another uh, pocket of unsettled weather late Sunday and early Monday morning rain could possibly change to or mix with snow during that time frame. Pueblo, another unseasonably cold day tomorrow. Then downslope wind will push out the cold air. Almost 25 degrees warmer on Thursday due to that Chinook being active. Saturday, windy, warmer, wet. A chance of afternoon and evening rain showers. Maybe a few showers to go along with cooler air thanks to that cold Cold front on Sunday. Canyon City March always offers a lot of variety, and there you go. Plenty of weather options through the weekend. Cool, then warm, then windy, and even a few weekend showers possible. Woodland Park, the strongest wind up there is on Thursday, so you get a two on the storm impact scale. Unsettled over the weekend, rain and snow showers. Not big storms by any means, just a shot of that much appreciated moisture. Diane? Mike.